So Bono. Oh, great. First of all, I, I, I look how beautiful that stage is. How do we get a stage like that? That is unbelievable. So he's on stage, and Bono is uh, like the. He is the culmination yeah. of of an establishment tool. So he he wears a leather jacket. I'm sure it's vegan. It's pleather, and he uh, he wears sunglasses everywhere. And he he talks about peace and loving each other as he props up the war machine, because that's what he's doing. You want to see it? Here it is. So important that Alexei Navalny chose to give his up. <laughs> Apparently, Putin would never, ever say his name. So... Bono is doing pro-war propaganda right now. That's what that is. Just like Cornel West did uh, when he praised Navalny. Navalny is a is an actual Nazi, is an actual white. No, supreme. he's reformed. He's an actual. It's complicated. And he's a CIA asset. Well, MI six, same difference, I guess. Both no CIA and MI six. He's, Five a, eyes he's in we, general. He's Western intelligence asset. And then you get this guy to prop him up. Why? Because they want to do more war against Russia. You know, and so what he's doing now is pro-war propaganda. That's what Bono's doing as he wraps it in peace. We want peace. And how do we do it? By getting you to hate Russia more and Putin more so you'll be for the wars. I mean, that's I what that's what this is. I know people don't like Bono, but can I just say fuck the edge too? I don't think he gets trashed enough. That guy with the beanie on. Oh, is that who that is? Yeah, the edge. Play the blues edge. Okay, here we go. So I thought tonight, people who believe in freedom, we must. If you believe in freedom. The freedom to say no to your goddamn album on my goddamn phone I didn't want? With a guy blowing on another guy's belly on the cover? Say his name. <laughs> Not just remember it. But say it. Say it. See Navalny. Oh my God. Alexei Navalny. Pol Pot. Pol Pot. Idi Amin. Idi Amin. Dalai Lama. Herman Goring. Herman Goring. Julian Assange. Julian. What? Whoops. Oh. Yeah. Whoops. No, you tricked us. Get him. Well, Putin's got the same policy as Bono has about saying Julian Assange, like not saying his name ever. You mean the same exact thing that Putin did with Navalny? He's turned his he's turns his rock show into an irrational hate fest of of Russia. I don't understand how there's young people at this show. Is that his kids? I, I don't. You tell me. Who the fuck enjoys you two that's below the age of, I don't know, 65? You got to be AARP to. You got to be, be into pretty this. successful <laughs> to afford a front row ticket to a U2 show or to give a remote shit about Alexei Navalny. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Imagine how rich you are to care about Alexei Navalny. I mean, I'm a, I'm one of those people that owns nothing, and I've never been happier, like a real Davos man, so I can't afford it. But I understand people are real into it. Alexei Navalny! Alexei Navalny! I don't believe those young people there. I, there's something up with that. So, I like this guy. Uh, M MI6 agent sh shouting out the name of a deceased fascist CIA agent, Navalny, while supporting genocide and staying silent on the imprisoning and persecution of journalist Julian Assange for revealing war crimes. So he doesn't do a chant about Julian Assange. Isn't no. that interesting? No, Iraq was a good thing. Yeah. As was Afghanistan. They're better off than when we got there, and they're really, they're really grateful to us and to the great work of Bono. You know, I think Bono actually was probably spreading AIDS now. I used to think he was I used to think it. he was fighting it. Who's an MI6 agent? Bono. Wow, that's like if James Bond was an elderly Irish woman in leather pants. <laughs> <laughs> so here, what, here he is. He's going to sing in favor of Israel's genocide in Gaza. You think I'm kidding? And he, again, he couches it as, as if he's there propping up the victims. He's there propping up. The genociders. Wasn't Listen, he anti-apartheid South Africa? But that he's was, good that's, with this one? Yeah. Yeah. Of what's happened in Israel and Gaza uh, 
a song about non-violence seems <laughs> somewhat ridiculous, even laughable. But Does our it? prayers have always been for peace and uh, and for non-violence. So, except when I prop up the war in Ukraine and I prop up the hatred of of Russia to do more war, and now I'm going to sing a song that props up the genocide in in Gaza. Watch this. But our hearts and our anger, you know what that's pointed to. So sing with us. <laughs> and those, those beautiful kids about music festival. He's going to sing about those beautiful kids at the music festival taking place right across the street from a concentration camp. Yeah. Well, I mean, it seems almost laughable to talk about peace right now, so I, I get it. Right, that, remember that music festival? Could you imagine going to a music festival that's across the street from a concentration camp? I mean, uh, not, uh, I didn't know, you know, not outside of Germany. Uh, <laughs> they like raves in concentration camps. So watch this. So it's not bad enough that he supports the genocide in Gaza. He's now going to sing a song about Martin Luther King that they're going to repurpose to be about October 7th. He's going to do an Elton John, Princess Diana. Watch this. Oh, my God. Talk about cultural appropriation. He, Watch this. Early morning, October 7th. Oh uh-huh. As the sun is rising in the desert sky, stars of David. They took your life, but they could not take your pride. Wait, hold on. Even even if they got shot by the IDF, I would I would lose some of my pride if I was one of those beautiful kids that accidentally got shot by my own yep. dumbass troops. Could not take your pride. Could not take your pride. Could not so he just kicked to the curb the man that this song used to be about. Sorry, pal, but the place is going condo, so we got to toss you out. Wait, was it about... And the name of love is supposed to be about love for your fellow man and not love for your oppressor. Was it about Mandela? Whatever they have on you guys, just let it happen. This is completely your fault. That's right. We are blaming you, too. <laughs> was it Was it Mandela? That was about Mandela, wasn't it, that song? Uh, Nelson Mandela, I could have sworn it was because he would talk about B Bishop Desmond Tutu is tired of maybe that was it. Yeah, so he's actually inverted the. I song. thought it was a, maybe not, wasn't Martin Luther King. Doesn't matter. He's inverting it. That's incredible. That's incredible. That's like satanic. <laughs> wow. And here's what Roger here's what Roger uh, Waters has to say about it. Anybody who knows Bono should go and pick him up by his ankles and shake him until he stops being a. S H I T. You know, we have to start speaking to these people and saying, your opinion is so disgusting and degrading when you stand up for the Zionist entity. What he did in the sphere in Las Vegas a couple of weeks ago, singing about the stars of David, was one of the most disgusting things I've ever seen in my life. Are you not familiar uh, with the band you Anybody who. <laughs> And and why do you think so? He Roger Waters is calling out Bono for bowing to the killers. Yeah, no shit. Of course, Bono will say that he was speaking in defense of all people everywhere. But it's not what it that's. It's everything that he's not acknowledging, too. He's not acknowledging Julian Assange. He's not acknowledging that not Alexei Navalny was a Nazi. He's not acknowledging that uh, Israel's committing a genocide in Gaza. I mean, you would think Bono would at least there, the, the have mentioned the kids getting killed. And it's about think, the score is 20,000 to what, 1,600? Yeah. They're using Bono like a bumper on their car to protect them in traffic. That's what the establishment is doing. I mean, how out of touch could you be that you think Bono is like the way into the hearts of the kids? So good for Roger Waters. Be more like Roger Waters and less like Bono. Who is like Bono? Be more. Be more like who? Those assholes at that concert. 
That's I'm who. Really, are those kids? There's no fucking way that that concert was filled. That is cameras on those young people for very specific propaganda reasons. No one that young is super into you two, okay? I don't believe it at all. Sorry to be all uh, Taylor Swift psyop. Really, about no it. kidding, right? Who the fuck would be How that? How old into... is Bono, right? There's not. Look, it's only like old, like. Hey stu- Siri, yeah. how old is Bono? He's sixty-three years old. He's older than me. Okay, people my age don't ever bring up liking Bono. Okay, I'm forty-six. That, that's that's pretty old in the world of the kids. Those were like Zoomers in that front row. One of them's got to be his daughter or something. But or they're planted. Oh, they're planted. Like well, I'm sure there's some kind of like payoff where he like he does a little switcheroo. He also got knighted not that long ago. Yeah, of course. And, I mean, uh, it's over. Yeah, he was all like Ireland, you know, Bloody Sunday. Now he's all British Empire. <laughs> he's all about it now. Hey, come see us live on tour in Los Angeles, Palm Springs, Stockholm, Amsterdam, Rotterdam, Berlin, Copenhagen, Oslo, Stroudsburg, Pennsylvania, Cortland, New York, Oakmont, Pennsylvania, right outside Pittsburgh, El Paso, and San Antonio, Texas. Go to JimmyDoor.com for a link for all those tickets. Mm-hmm.